This video is a follow-up to the GL Angler Diary Overview video that's now available on YouTube. The overview video covers the new Michigan River Steelhead project and how to enter data using Apple devices with our new iOS app. When you go to glanglerdiary.org, there are a couple of different views that you can select from. This is the desktop view, which is perfect for a home laptop. But if you want to enter data on a mobile device, you can click on mobile view and uh, get a, a layout that's a little bit more suitable for mobile devices. Either way, it's the same basic layout. And for this tutorial, we'll stick with the desktop view. The first screen you come to has a list of your trips. Each line here is a different trip. It lists the location and the date of the trip, along with any fish that were measured. So if you want to add a new trip, click on the Add Trip button. And here are the same fields that uh, appear in the iOS app. The trip date automatically generates. You can change it if you need to. The location automatically generates as your home water that you select when you first register. If you need to change it, let's say this one was taken on the Rogue River again, uh, you can just select that from the drop down menu. Hours fished and number of anglers in party are also required. So these upper fields have to be filled out before you click create and add your trip information. But you also have additional optional trip information that you can add using glanglerdiary.org. These ones, uh, these fields here are not available in the iOS app and you can type in any particular uh, notes you'd like to in this other location. Let's say I was on the Rogue River and I want to list uh, Packer Road as my location. I can do that. It's not required, but I can uh, put additional details in there if I want. Also, let's say I was fishing a small stream that doesn't appear in the drop down menu. I can add it here instead. If I went up to location and I selected other Lake Michigan tributary in Michigan, then I could fill in what that other location was uh, down here. Let's say unnamed creek. And obviously not as many people are going to be fishing smaller bodies of water. Uh, so it's unlikely that we get a lot of data that would really be useful. But again, if you want that option or if you catch fish in areas that uh, that aren't in the drop down menu, that's how you would go and change the information later. You can also enter number of lines fished. Uh, that's probably excessive. Let's say two um, number of fish hooked. Let's say I had seven fish on and then I could uh, enter the data on the ones that were actually landed. Uh, we'll say we landed one fish out of seven and you can even rate your satisfaction. Uh, maybe today I was somewhat dissatisfied because I didn't land more fish. You can also add any trip comments in that you want. Uh, this could be something, um, you know, just notes on the weather or if you had a specific observation on wild or stocked fish. Maybe you uh, saw several uh, clipped fish caught by other anglers. That would be something that you can really record as your own data, but you might want to make a note of that uh, just to let us know. So that's what you can do in the trip menu for glanglerdiary.org. We can hit create and it will add another line in the list of your trips. And this one appears here 9, 10, 20, 20 as other Lake Michigan tributary Michigan with zero fish measured because I let it know that I did keep or measure one fish out of the seven that I hooked, but I have not yet entered data on the fish that I measured. So for this line, I'll go to add fish. And this is the only way to add fish in the glanglerdiary.org system. Uh, you, you don't add fish at the same time as you add your trip data. You have to select add fish from the trip line that you are interested in. So I'll click, I'll click on add fish here shows me the date and the location of my trip, and I'll click Add Fish to add details on the fish that I caught. So again, today's date is already there. That's linked to the trip that I already entered. I will say this fish is 22 inches long. Now, ideally, we'd measure every fish to the nearest quarter inch. 
But if you're waiting, especially if you're alone and you're trying to release your fish unharmed, it can be difficult to, to really get an accurate length to the nearest quarter inch. So do the best you can, certainly get a length to the nearest inch whenever possible. And uh, remember, you know, we're looking for the total length, the, the distance from the tip of the snout to the tip of the extended or pinched caudal fin. And uh, we really want that to be as accurate as possible. It's really important when we're trying to to analyze the data later on and make some kind of an assessment of, of how old that fish might have been. That's, that's really an important piece of information. So we'll say this fish was measured at 22 inches long and was released. So for the sex of your fish, uh, if you know it, if it's obvious, uh, definitely enter it. If it's a male, uh, you may see a hook jaw or kipe. If it's a female, it'll probably have a little fuller belly, maybe even have eggs squirting out. But if you're not sure, you can also put not assessed for sex. And that's typically, you know, early in the run or in the fall, maybe a little bit harder to make that assessment. So if you, if you do know, let us know. If not, it's okay. But we definitely want you to check for fin clips on every fish and look at every single fin. We do have a not assessed option just in case you accidentally let a fish go before you check every fin thoroughly. But ideally, we really want to know if that fish has no fin clips or if it has some other mark. And you notice there are some additional uh, you know, options here other than just adipose fin. These are the same options that appear in the uh, iOS version of the app. But we'll say this fish had that uh, adipose fin clip. And you'll notice there's an optional fish information menu here too. And here are a bunch of options that don't appear in uh, the iOS app. So if you had some other combination of fin clips, you have this drop down menu and you can click multiples. Uh, you can select, let's say we had a right pelvic fin and an anal fin. Uh, you could select both of those and enter that if you needed to. But uh, those are going to be pretty rare. You can also enter the exact location. Uh, if you want to bring up a map, uh, you can enter the exact GPS location of the point where you caught the fish. Obviously, we don't need that information. If you just want to record it for your own uh, interest later on, uh, it's there. We can also record time, depth of water, depth of lure, uh, weight of the fish, girth. And uh, if you happen to have lamprey wounds or attached lampreys, you can record that as well. You can record the bait, the presentation. And down here is a catch-all for any comments that you have. So if you want to let us know something more about that individual fish, this is the place to do it. You can even uh, upload a picture. Uh, this could be really useful if you have a fish with uh, marks you're not sure about or uh, maybe if, if it has some kind of external tag with a number on it, or uh, if it's just an unusual catch or you're not sure of the species, you can up upload the picture there. And uh, you can also send that information directly to glanglerdiary at gmail.com. If you want to send us an email and you have questions about a certain fi uh, specific fish, that's another way to do it. So once you have all your information here entered, You'll click add to make sure that you record all that fish information. So here's our 22 inch steelhead. We'll hit add. It'll show that it recorded it. All the data is right here. If you see something wrong, you can go to edit. You can also review all the details in this menu here. We didn't enter any of that optional information from this fish. All looks good. If you did something really wrong, you can just hit delete and try it again. Or you can go back to your list, and again, we're looking at this trip for 9, 10, 20, 20. Go back to your list, and you'll see that we now have one fish measured for that trip on September 10th, 2020. Another option here, if you happen to be a, a big lake angler and you are fishing, and you see on your fish finder uh, a bait ball, a large school of ALY for other bait fish, you can add that image uh, using this bait ball option here. Uh, another option is to delete the entire trip. If you happen to have a trip uh, like this stray one up here uh, that you just want to get rid of, if it, if it wasn't uh, accurately entered or if it was just uh, something you're trying out to, to get the data entry uh, procedure straight, you can just hit delete and delete the entire trip. And that's about it for the data entry uh, using glanglerdiary.org.